Yo, yo, dudes, what's up? Welcome back. So today, instead of a typical cut test video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a versus type of thing. Uh, but really, I wanted to kind of gauge how good uh, is CJRB's AR RPM 9. It's a proprietary steel by them that they uh, kind of formulated. And um, it's done well in my cut tests. I've done a cut test video with this particular knife. This is the... Uh, CJRB Pyrite Warncliffe, and it did quite well, but I kind of wanted to gauge it against uh, a very, very good steel uh, 15V on my Manix here. Um, so we're just going to go cut for cut and see which one kind of craps out the fastest. I know it's not going to be the Manix, but, you know, we'll kind of get a, a better gauge for how good it is, how good this uh, this blade steel is. So we're on this triple thickness cardboard the whole time. We don't we don't deviate from that. We're starting with uh, three cuts each, all the way down. Now with the pyrite, this thing uh, it actually passed through the cardboard a little bit easier than the Manix. Um, it's thinner blade stock, thinner geometry overall. Um, this pyrite uh, really passes through cardboard very well. I absolutely love this knife. The second there's a premium version, I am buying it. Let's try the paper. Very sharp edge on my Manix done by uh, Lacey. Very good edge on the pyrite too, from factory. Just been stropped. All right, let's do some strap. This is tough, um, like ratchet strap material, two inches wide, thick stuff. Let's go. Mannix, piece of cake all the way through. Pyrite. Piece of cake all the way through. Let's go again. Mannix. Piece of cake all the way through. Pyrite. Almost all the way through. Little couple threads left over there. So far, so good. Back to the Mannix. Let's do two cuts on the cardboard here. One, two. This 15V is some badass stuff, man. Back to the pyrite, two cuts. One, two. Still easily slicing this thick ass cardboard. Go to the paper. How we doing? 15V, perfectly fine. Pyrite, perfectly fine. A uh, little surprised already. Let's do some rope. Mannix. Bam. Pyrite. Bam. <laughs> this is not easy rope to get through either. This is polypropylene rope. This is very tough stuff. This is not your average like paracord kind of nylon material. This is tough on knives, man. Mannix, easy. Back to the pyrite. Easy. This pyrite is hanging in there like a freaking champ. Let's do another Mannix, another Pyrite. I mean, they're really passing through the rope uh, with very similar strength needed to get through. I don't feel like one or the other is like cutting the rope easier than the other. It's pretty crazy. Our edge, what the hell, man? <laughs> it's still cutting paper really well too. Let's go back to the cardboard. I'm just trying to dull it now at this point. 
two cuts. One. Two. Tie right. One. Two. I could have made this video probably like a half hour long. Um, because this AR RPM 9 was not giving up. Let's go back to some strap now. Mannix. Piece of cake. On the strap, I will say the Mannix is cutting through easier uh, than the Pyrite, for sure. But we're getting all the way through, which is gnarly. As you can see, I'm surprised. <laughs> Let's go again, Mannix. Piece of cake. I mean, really, really easily passing through the strap. Pyrite, a little less easy. And uh, still leaving a little bit of a couple threads there. All right, let's go back to the paper. Mannix, 15V. Very, very sharp still. Pyrite, what the hell, dude? Still cleanly cutting paper. What's going on here? What's going on here? I'm, I'm right now I'm trying to decide if I'm going to just keep going. And I decide, no, I'm going to end the video. But this will, I mean, you know, I could keep going. And yeah, the 15V would win over enough time, obviously. But this gives you an idea of uh, the quality of this AR RPM 9. Um, you know, the cutting we just did, it really kept pace um, surprisingly well. I mean, yeah, surprisingly well. Be interesting to do the same test but go for longer you know i mean look how we're doing these nice long cuts with the pyrite and it's not cutting paper as easily it's, a, it's not cutting as cleanly as the manix but dude i mean long cuts on the paper no no tearing no nothing i mean wow this pyrite, man, um, I'm telling you, it is, it's, it's the best budget knife I've bought in a very long time. Um, it's gonna get budget knife of the year unless something else really, really good comes. And I still haven't tried a couple of things like the Echo and the Moyarl, but for what I've bought this year, as far as budget knives, pyrite all the way, baby. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it uh, interesting and fun. I'll see you next time. Let me know if you want to do another one of these videos. Adios.